So I really like the look of this already. When Photoshop quits. <sighs> so today I am doing a complete logo from scratch. You're gonna see me from start to finish, the whole process of the logo, how I create the brand and what I get up to. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I am at my desk now. And the first thing that you wanna do is make sure that your client has told you exactly what they like the look of, the style, the font, everything that they have in mind, the colors, you wanna make sure that they know everything. I am making up this logo today. So in fact, I am my own client, which is kind of good because I get free range of everything. So I have come up with a lash company that sells lashes. So for this, I sort of have in mind like an animal print using blacks and the creams, the beiges, that sort of color. I'm gonna research some animal prints, some color palettes, and then show you what I get up to. Okay, so after researching, I've kind of gone down the snakeskin route. I've seen a lot of things that I like the look of, and I really feel like the packaging of the lash boxes would look amazing with a snakeskin around it. So I'm gonna base my brand on this. I've come up with the name as well, which is Lash Me Crazy. So I'm gonna start off by opening Illustrator. So Illustrator is amazing. This is a vector-based program where I do all of my logos from. So if you haven't tried it out, please try it out. So I've copied some pictures from Pinterest that I've liked the look of. I like the colours of this bag. They work well together, so I'm going to take inspiration from this. I found some snakeskin patterns that I like, so I'm going to sort of do them in my own style, but use these for inspiration as well. And then I've found some fonts that I like as well, so I'm going to try and incorporate that sort of style into my work. So if you're a designer, you're going to know that to get through your work, you're going to snack. And lucky me just got some scones. So I'm gonna stuff my face with scones and then get on with it. So I've demolished the scone and I'm gonna get straight into it. So what I like to do is I sort of have a vision in my head of how the look is gonna look, but I will probably end up with a different result, which most designers do. But what I do first round is just write the logo out. Once I've got this done, what I like to do is go and look for some fonts. I normally pay for ones that I like, but in some instances, they'll already be on the system or I use Adobe fonts. So let's go and have a look. I've downloaded some fonts that I like the look of, and then I'm just gonna try them out in Illustrator and see what they look like against each other. And then from that, I just pick the best one that I like and then play around with it. Okay, so I really love this one. I like how the L sort of reminds me of a snake, which is gonna work perfectly with the snake skin background. So I'm just gonna have a play around with it now because I feel like something is missing. So I'm wanting to use the curve of the L for the middle of the H. So I'm gonna try and put that in there. And I'm using the same one as the L just so it looks aesthetically pleasing.
Also, I've just noticed that the wispy bits remind me of lashes as well. So maybe that's a why I went for that font subconsciously, if that makes sense. So I'm just creating the snake skin pattern and all I'm doing is just getting one solid color behind and then just using my Pathfinder tool. And this is just gonna create the illusion of the snake skin. And then I'm gonna turn it into a pattern. grid pattern this I think it's quite small so I'm just gonna make it bigger and then I'm just gonna mask that put it behind put that behind as well and then what I'm gonna do is make sure we can see my logo <laughs> I feel like this colour is too vibrant. So I really like the look of this already. The dark grey um, and the beige look really good together. Okay, so I'm super happy with this. So I'm going to continue doing the branding for it now. So what I like to do is create a new artboard. So I'm just going to copy this one and I'm going to reverse the colours on everything now just to see what it looks like. So I'm really liking the look of both of these, which means that your logo is going to work well um, in different colours, which is always a good sign. So I'm going to continue now. And I'm just going to do the colour palette. The way I like to lay this out is kind of in the style of the logo. So as you can see, that is my color palette, but it's presented in the way that the brand is. So it is in that snake skin pattern. But you're always going to want to do um, a variation of the logo. And this is called the Submark logo. So this is your logo in a different style. For example, when you use your logo on Instagram, it's circular and obviously this um, logo that I've done is not going to fit. So I'm just going to change the look of it, the way that it is shaped and just sort of see what other style I can get it in while still looking like the logo.
So as you'll see, it is all about just playing around with it until you find the perfect submark logo. Just keep playing around with it and I'm sure you'll get there. I'm just gonna change all of the colors to this, um, which looks really nice. Maybe add this in a circle. I quite like this because I've just noticed as well that it kind of looks like an eye. So we get the reference to the eyelash and the eye. So I have made the Submark logo plus um, a social media template for the client. Just gonna do another option for them so I can see if they prefer having the black background or the beige background. So I am loving the look of this brand. The snake skin really works and it's exactly what I'd envisioned, which normally doesn't happen. I normally envision something and then it all just goes to pot and then I end up with a completely different design that I love. But for once, this is kind of what I wanted it to look like. So the last thing that I like to do is I like to do some mock-ups of the brand on actual objects. So this just gives your client something to look at, see how their brand will look, if your logo is versatile, so if it works on products or not. And it gives me a benefit of seeing my brand on actual products. So I got too hot um, in my jumper, so I took it off. So please excuse my bad tan lines. This is just the UK sun, by the way, and I do tan quite easily, so I don't know. Oh, it is bad on the back, actually. And yeah, please excuse my hair. This is just me not bothering. So I don't know if anyone else is bothering during quarantine, but I definitely am not. Okay, so when I download stuff, I normally either pay for it depending on the product or I will find some free ones which are just as good. So normally they are done in Photoshop, which is super easy. You don't need to know anything about Photoshop. You are literally just replacing a template. But with this one, I actually am going to add in some lashes because obviously there isn't any lashes um, on there. But I liked the look of the box, so I'm going to go for it. When Photoshop quits, whoop, whoop. love life. Ugh. I'm not even joking, it's about 24 degrees outside and I'm hot. So between filming this video, got the fan out and I... Uh... So I've gone for a different mock-up because Photoshop was being a pain in the ass and wouldn't open for some reason. So I've gone for this one and I know it's a bit strange but I sort of envision it so i'm gonna try it and see if it works but basically i'm gonna get rid of the pen and the notepad and i'm gonna add eyelashes there and then this is gonna become the eyelash case let's go We have the mock-up. It actually looks pretty cool. I'm pretty um, impressed with that. I love the black and beige together. It really works. So I've done this one and I'm going to probably do another two just to see what it looks like on some other products. 
So that is the final result of my logo and my brand. Let me know what you think of it. And if you have any questions about the design process, any questions about Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop, I will be happy to answer them. Um, also, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I will be doing some more videos of me designing. Let me know if there's anything that you wanna see me design. I'm gonna finish it up by just showing you the design on screen. Thank you.